Hey man, I finally got my uh, my QVO tactical holster in. Uh, maybe I should get this. Let me get the stickers and all this. Came with that, of course. That. These smell really good, man. These these smell good. Man. Came with the. Uh, with the bag, of course. Very nice. And I've, I've been waiting for it for a minute. I, for, I forgot when I ordered it, but it probably took. Let me see. I mean, their stuff is great, but it does take a... It, you, you do have to be patient. Because I ordered this on May 9th. And what's today? Yeah, it's not It's not even May anymore. So, that's... uh. But, you know, if you want it to be... Uh, you know, there's a saying, you either want it, what is it, good, quick, and cheap, and you can only pick two, and you lose the third one. So if you want it to be good and quick, then it's not going to be cheap. If you want it to be cheap and good, then it's not going to be quick. So uh, this is affordable, and it is good, so you got to wait a little bit. Or I have to wait a little bit. These smell awesome. But the holsters... Yeah, the holsters smell awesome, man. They smell like freedom. Holsters smell like freedom. Oh shit, it smells so good. Anyway, so I got I got this for my for my Beretta. And I'm gonna be carrying it soon. Oh, that click. That click. Bobby, why why are you gonna carry your Beretta? That's a heavy shut your bitch ass up. Shut your bitch ass up. Okay? Man up and carry the fucking Beretta. <laughs> Only thing is, uh, right here, it kind of bumps up against this plate, so it takes it out of battery just slightly when I really cram it down in there. But that probably won't be, or probably won't be an issue. Uh, can't wait to carry this. I am very excited. I'm probably gonna drop these screws down a little bit and lift the hooks up so I can let it sit a little bit lower. But yeah, this is this is what's up, man. I'm really excited about this. Really excited about this, man. Don't 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 get all you know. Get your panties in a bunch. I know I'm dropping the hammer. It's not empty. I gotta I got a snap cap in there. Okay, relax, relax. Really excited about this, man. Really excited. Love love QBO. Love uh, love Roger. Love what he's doing over there. He's uh, never met him before, but he seems like a really awesome guy. Um, yeah, him and his whole crew, actually, he got a whole crew of like, uh, Asian guys that all roll together and shoot guns. So I don't know if I could ever be down. I think Talon Sai is in there and he's white. So they may have a racial quota and they, they do. If you need a Negro, Roger, to be in your clique, I'm, I'm down, buddy. <laughs> I want to come out to the desert and shoot guns. Uh, yeah, man. So this is, this is awesome, man. Great product. I haven't even carried it yet, but I'm happy with my with the 19 that I've been running. So this is just a bigger version of that. You got no issues with it, man. Very happy. A little logo right there, of course. You can't really see it because I do that black on black. You know? Uh, yep, that's it. Quick violin over. Love it, yeah, and that's it, man. Leave the tip. <laughs> that's all I got for you. Let's uh, jump in the comments. Man, I'm happy about this thing, man. God. When I got this thing, it's just like, you just seat that gun and tuck that bitch in at night. Like, shh, daddy will be right back. Awesome. Awesome. You know what? I was scrolling through. Now that I look at so much gun content online and I see the people doing instructions, the little shorts that talk about instructions, man, people will turn anything into instructions. I mean, they will. <laughs> they'll be like, don't don't grip it like this. Don't grip it down. And what, what you want to do is you want to go down and you want to go up. OK, this is called the upstroke. You want to do an upstroke because that'll really give you. It's like, shut the fuck up, man. Just pull out, just pull out the gun and go to work. OK, just pull out the gun. And begin to changing motherfuckers' minds. Okay, it's not that complicated. 
really. Shooting guns is not that complicated. If you're new to guns, please don't be intimidated by all this shit because it is not that complicated. You know, I love everybody out there, but the uh, the Mike Glovers and the GBRSs of the world, they really, they really add some layers to this shit, make this shit sound really complicated. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. <laughs> I've been shooting guns for a minute, man. It's not that complicated. It's it's this. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's all kind of intricate, you know, intricacies or whatever, but it's really not, you know, people with no education at all are doing a pretty good job of killing other people out there, okay? It's not that complicated. All right. Anyway, to the comments. Let's finish some up some comments. Uh, ears and, <laughs> eyes and ears tactical. Dude sounds like meditation voiceover. Yeah, the dude on the uh, the Filster Enigma video, which, by the way, I'll just talk about it now. I got this shit, and uh, this is my second time trying to put this shit together, and this shit only has one, two, three, four, five, six. It only has six screws, right? But if you go to the website, they make this shit. They do a really good job of making this sound complicated as shit. I mean... Yeah, they make they make it sound so complicated. It's like I know I know for a fact y'all got some high school dropouts running shit over there. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. Just just relax. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All you have to do, okay, is if you got different holes, just provide different screws that only fit in the holes that they're supposed to go in. See, problem solved. It's really not that hard. And a video, I think the video to put this together is like over 10 minutes long and the dude on the video the meditation dude talks for like four minutes before you even screw one screw in you know it's like shit dude just this screw goes here this screw goes there screw 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 run it you know y'all y'all make that shit way harder than it is and i was so frustrated i sent an email to them just being annoyed because they just they make this shit sound so complicated it's it's four it's one two three four five six and I got to put this back in because I took off the uh, I took the wing off because the wing was pushing this piece of uh, plastic or whatever forward so I took the wing off and now I'm putting it back together I don't even know if I'm gonna carry it I, I don't know uh, I kind of I tried to try it out real quick I tried to try it out what the fuck Bobby I tried it out real quick and I put on some just house basketball shorts and I do like the concept. I do like it a lot. And it didn't feel like too cumbersome. And I'm, this is a 19 holster. I got this holster from LAS Concealment. And I actually like the original one because the it just feels thinner. It feels thinner than my QVO holster. It just feels like a thinner profile. I don't know if it is. They use thinner Kydex or whatever, but it felt like a thinner profile. So I liked it. Uh, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have put those two videos together. I don't know. It's too late now. Too late now. Uh, let's see. Dude, I'm really still tripping off you sold your staccato. Uh, all right, I guess. I mean, it was $2,600, you know? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, hey, listen. Leave a tip, man. I'll be glad to get another one. <laughs> Mark Curry. Got a light coming from my PDP. Shot it for the first time today. Motherfucker kicks hard. Sheesh. Compared to what? I mean, I, I, I shot mine. I mean, I kicks hard compared to what like a 22 i mean it's it's it is it does have more recoil than a 19 but not that much that i noticed i mean just it was just enough to notice but it wasn't like i don't know it's still a nine millimeter i don't know might want to uh might want to hit the gym homie <laughs> <laughs> shit wasn't that bad uh david parker uh fuck that xc I got the C2, love it. The next only and only staccato I buy would be the XL. Okay. David Parker, she buys two pairs of Nikes. I buy two clocks. That's how we roll, son. David Parker, name a 2K gun that lost a lot of value to you saying what happened when 2011s aren't hot. Uh, name a 2K11 that lost a lot of value. I guess what you're trying to say is, you're, you're saying give me an example because I said, um, I think, I forget what I said. I said, like, 2011s are great, but and they have a pretty good resale. But what happens when they're not hot anymore? And I guess he's saying, I guess prove it. I guess you're saying prove it. Well, I don't have to fucking prove it because it's it's basic economics. Not to get too deep with you here, but let me answer it this way: name a product that holds its value 
that people don't want to buy anymore. Right? You can't because if no one buys it, then then you start seeing those letters S A L E next to the product and the price starts dropping. What I'm saying is 2011s are hot right now. And we know they're hot because everybody's making them. There's a platypus, there's a 2311 Oracle, there's the Prodigy, there's the Staccato. Staccato keeps coming out with them. There's the Bull Armory. I mean, you, they're, they're coming out more and more and more and more. There's the Fowler Industry, Vanonine. There's another one that I forget about. I think Fowler made another one too. And the prices are going up and up and up. But if they're not hot anymore, once people stop being interested, it's just like the fucking um, the CZs. You know, at, at one point I couldn't get a CZ for less. I couldn't see a CZ for less than six hundred. Now they're at three some. So that's you know a forty percent, thirty percent drop. So that's just how things work, David. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, bro. You know, so it's not like if you spend two thousand dollars on a gun that magically is going to lock you in for $2,000 forever. I mean, you, you could you could put uh, 2K into a gun through mods and all that other stuff. Ain't nobody going to give you that shit. Um, Alex Salomon will tell you that. When he tried to sell his MMP 2.0 that he put a bunch of mods into, you know, that he sent off to uh, Frank Castile's custom. He updated the trigger. He updated the stippling, you know, yada, 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 put some money into it. He couldn't get his money out. You know, products are only worth what somebody's willing to pay for. So if tomorrow people stop, and I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I have no idea. I'm not God, I'm not Negro Domus, and neither are you, by the way. But if tomorrow people stop buying 2011s or selling sales slow, then the prices will fall. That's just how it works. So, don't you know, I, I don't think that uh, me buying a staccato, I got less for my staccato than I did when I bought it. So it's not like I can buy a Staccato, spend twenty six hundred, you know, after taxes or whatever, and then turn around, shoot it, and then go sell it for twenty six hundred. Because somebody could just go to the store and buy a brand new one for twenty six hundred. Why would they pay me twenty six hundred? I probably lost three, four hundred dollars off of that. That Staccato I sold, which ain't bad, but you know, that's because they're hot. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. And it's funny because. Alex Salmeron has a video where he talks about the MMP, and uh, he said he listed it for a certain price. It didn't sell. And then what did he do? He lowered the price. That's how economics works. I mean, that's how every product works. A staccato is not some magical product that doesn't obey the laws of economics. The fuck are you talking about? Get out of here. You know? So, but hey, buy a staccato if you want, man. I mean, it's a great gun. I'm just saying, if uh, if tomorrow things change, then things will change. I mean, I don't think I'm saying anything revolutionary here. You know, I guess that was like a aha trying to catch me, you know, give me an example. That's a lot like saying uh, if I say if you get stabbed and you bleed out, you're going to die. Well, give me an example of someone that got stabbed, bled out and died. Well, I have to fucking do it. That's just how the body works. You bleed out, blood pressure drops, you die. <laughs> I don't have to know somebody personally. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not how, it's not how facts work. <laughs> But that's cool, man. That's all good, man. Uh, ZDRX. ZDRIX. Uh, yeah, thanks, man. Mook Timus. Got a C2, brother. Very comparable to the P, but lighter and sweet to carry, in my opinion. Yeah, I like the C2. I like staccatos, man. You know, I mean, just because I sold it doesn't mean I don't love it, man. I miss it. It's just that at $2,600, it was hard to... Whew, it was hard to stomach that, man, you know. I mean, that's a lot of money. And, you know, I see guys that, that put some money into them. And, you know, I haven't seen anybody put money into a staccato and get it get it all back. You know, so um, it's a, but it's a beautiful gun. Best gun I've ever shot, hands down. If I could come into some money right now, like if I could get all my cars paid off. And, uh, you know, all my kids situated and I had some money, you know, like a nice fat tax return or something. I, I'd probably end up with another P, bro. I probably would. I don't know, man. We'll see. Something tactical. Nice. What's up, homie? It's been a minute. It's been a long time since I talked to you, bro. And all you got to say to me is fucking nice. That's it? Nah, I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. VCRMF. What's up, homie? 45. Oh, damn it. 
Yes, sir. I'm really happy with this one, man. You see, you know why I'm so happy with this? $600 for the slide through two, $250 for the frame. So we're at $850, and I got an exact gun that I want. And I got a gun that's durable that I can just take and just throw. That's, see, that's the only thing. If When I was thinking about it, shit hit the fan. I'm not, I'm not walking outside with no staccato. You know, I'm, I'm taking a Glock because I need that durable, you know. To me, a staccato was really nice, but it's not like, what's a real durable car? Like a Toyota or a Jeep, something you can just beat the fuck out of and still looks pretty good and, you know, would run. That's what a Glock is to me. I have no fears and doubts about how well it's going to run. You know, it just it gives me the best chance in every situation. Hot, cold, rain, rain sleet, snow, frogs, lion, tires, bears. Lions, lions, tigers, and bears. Love it, man. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Fresh 11, 17. First off, 45. You ain't said nothing, Fresh. You ain't said. You ain't said fucking nothing. Jeez. Bam. All right. Here we go. Just got my Arc Division slide for my 45. I can't wait to hit the range this weekend. Yeah, well, it is this weekend, so you better let me know how that went. The ammo in the tip jar <laughs> added sound effect was top notch. Thanks, homie. Because that's uh. That's what I'm going to be using it for, so leave a tip. Cash out. Venmo. Love shooting. I always saying to myself, motherfucker, go buy that pee back, and bro beat me to it. <laughs> me, on the other hand, I'm going to just stick to my weed, at least for now. Anyway, stay up, Bobby. Never change. Thanks, homie. Uh, yeah, I, I go back and forth about it, man, because I feel really good about paying off that credit card. I'm not going to lie, man. And, with, and I'm looking at... Uh, that eight defense slide, but they sold out. They fucking sold out. I told you motherfuckers not to buy too many of them things. And I bet you two of y'all bought it and they sold out. But I got to wait till they get the eight defense slide because I'm going to build another 45 or 19. We'll see. We'll see. It might be a 45. Hood's house. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see, man. That 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 pee is so beautiful, man. That pee is so damn beautiful and so damn smooth. Dang, man. Hill's house. I'm looking at that Kraken. It's like 300 with a green dot and great warranty, bomb proof. Yeah, the Kraken's good. Also, CNHPWS CNH Precision has a duty enclosed dot that's around that three four hundred dollars that I'm looking at too, because I'm thinking about building a 19. That's already been cut for a um, aim point acro, and I think it has the same footprint. So I may end up getting the duty CNH precision because it looks pretty good, man. It looks pretty good. So let me know if you get that crack and how you like it. You know, I'm not asking you to drop it off. You know, drop it out the window. But if you want to, that'd be great. And it would help me make a decision. <laughs> you know, fragrance journey. What's up, homie? Dope video fan. Why do you think he sold that staccato to buy the newest one? Happy Father's Day to buy the newest one. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I sold it just to buy another one. Maybe I sold it just to put the money down on, on the XC. We'll see where it ends up. Right now, I'm happy where I'm at, but I do miss that staccato P. So, you know, I don't know, man. I, but hey, I paid off the credit card, so that's that's good. You know, can't take that away from me. Jason T, man, if you ain't hitting on point with this high-end stuff, bro, if it ain't preaching the technical truth, I love your feel, truth, etc. I'm the same way. I got Hollisons and everything. I got this in handgun, and I love them. Yeah, I love them, dude. I don't, you know, I was looking at that aim point acro P2, but that shit's $600, $700. Resale, probably seven, eight hundred for a dot. You know what I'm saying? All that for a dot. I'm like... It don't have to be, it ain't got to be like literally bomb proof. It just got to be able to drop it once or twice and not blow up. But um, my Hollis has been doing just fine. These 508Ts are just fine for me, man. That's why I run so many of them. Somebody made a comment about how many 508Ts I have. I think they were trying to be smart. And I forgot to tell you that um, I ordered a warm glass of shut the fuck up. And you can have all of it. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, man, you know, run run what you want to run, man, because I'm telling you, 
I've seen so many trends come and go, you know, from the, uh, it used to be the RMR and it was, oh, you got to get RMRs until people started, because the RMR uses the battery goes on the bottom. And until that year came up and you had to change that motherfucking battery and you couldn't get a good connection seal coming. Yeah. Then motherfuckers started switching over to Hollison after they had been bitching about it's made in China. Oh, well, the Chinese getting my money today, motherfucker. Ping pong. Oh, that's racist. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> Ryan Baker. Number one, I love the videos. Keep them up, man. Thank you, sir. I feel like I'm being set up here. I love the videos. Number two, go fuck you. No, I'm just playing. Ryan Baker. Love the videos. Number two, wish you would make more. Okay, well, I'm dropping two today, so hope you enjoy it. Three, think you should try the EPS carry. I may. I just may. I just don't have anything to put it on right now. I was looking at the P365 XL because I had just paid off my credit card. So, you know, of course, I got to fill that bitch back up. Uh, so I was looking at it. So we'll see. Uh, oh, I'm down to the last two comments. Look at that. Norwood Alderman. What's up, man? Bobby, my bro. Good, time, good content. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, CSRC, no sound. Uh, I don't know how to help you, bro. Turn your phone on. You may have your Bluetooth connected to your car. I do that all the time. Dude, I did that one time. <laughs> so our TV has a Bluetooth speaker attached to it. Y'all ain't gonna believe this shit, but I'm gonna tell you. My Bluetooth has a in my car, right? But, and I was sitting in the bed watching porn, right? And I couldn't hear no sound. And then my daughter texted me from downstairs and she was like, turn your phone off. <laughs> And my wife was like, I hope you weren't watching anything you shouldn't have been. And of course, you know, I lied like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> so fellas, fellas, if you're going to look at porn on your phone, turn your Bluetooth off, man. Because that shit has a mind of its own, man. It's crazy. All right, man. Y'all have a good one. Um, I'll let y'all know how this enigma goes, man. I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm more happy about this QVO than I am this enigma. This thing just... Uh, Jeez, I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. Y'all have a good one, man. Bye.